What's going on everybody? Beastly Gamer here joined by Miss Everything Random. And today we got two special guests, two uh, two of my children here. We got Brett and Brandon. Say hi everybody. What's up, What's up everybody? And uh, these are my 12 and my 13 year olds and uh, they wanted to join uh, What's That Taste Like Today to try some of these new delectables. And uh, so today we're going to try something a little different, something I have no idea what it is. It's called uh, Japanese style mochi. Now we actually have two different flavors. Um, of course I had to go again with the green tea. She went with green tea. She thinks everything tastes like green tea Kit Kats. <laughs> and uh, the other is taro mochi. Why don't you tell everybody what mochi is? Okay, so I had to look this up. So mochi is a Japanese rice cake made of mochi gomi, a short grain Japanese glutinous rice. So it's a rice. So it's like a rice cake. I, I don't know. It I'm guessing with a flavor inside. It doesn't really look like it. It doesn't look like a rice cake to me. It looks like. It does look gelatinous. Have you ever seen uh, the dung beetles? Yes. The, the the little balls of dung that they push look a lot like this. What do you boys think? This looks like a snowball cookie. Weird. Here, yeah. tell, tell me what you guys think. Look at what's on the front of the box. That one looks like a snowball cookie. I'm kind cookie. of curious to taste the inside. Yeah, Brett, you're going to make it's it. You're going to be really popular with the ladies one day. Um, let me see. That's that's the purple. That's <laughs> it's the weird purple. looking. It's weird looking. Yeah. Uh, this is... Uh, what is taro? I don't I don't know what taro is. I believe I, we'll I believe it's a um, like it's a root of a vegetable <laughs> over there. Wow. Or it's part of a family Oops. of vegetables or something. So uh, these actually have a crazy expiration date on it. She showed me uh, <laughs> this expiration date is actually two. So check this out. One of them says November seventeenth, twenty fourteen, and the other one says September seventeenth. 2015. So we're just rolling the dice right now. This could actually kill all four of us, but we're going to do it for it you. It could go either way. We're going to do it for you guys right now. So we're going to try one of each. We're going to try. We're going to do the tarot first. Okay. Okay. We're going to try a tarot first. Oh, yeah. You excited, son? Yeah. Oh wow! It comes uh, fancy. All right. So let's see if we can get this thing open. Wow, so it's, it's got like powdered sugar. Yeah, and it has oh, one. It has one of the things in it there. So it's like a dessert, kind of. It is a dessert, mm -hmm. so. I heard it has, We're assuming. This is uh, what's normally it's a it's a moisture absorber. Oh, okay. Oxygen absorber. Wow, it's like so, a little salt package. Have you guys ever seen the movie Flowers in the Attic? Uh, when uh, the grandma made the cookies for the kids and she tried to kill them. It looks a lot like this. So Let's hope we don't die. <laughs> I'm hoping no Japanese grandmas made this today. So there's six in a pack. I guess we just get one. Yeah, well, there's four of us. So, oh wow, it's weird feeling. Geez, right here. Take yours. Oh wow. Hey. Okay. It really it's feels. Like all okay, okay, okay. It's right. squishy. It's Let's not all talk at once, guys. Okay. All right, hold yours. Okay, I'm not really smelling anything it's either. Not smelling anything. We're gonna take. Wow. We're gonna take a second. It is weird. We're gonna take. Oh wow! This this feels weird. Fucking strange. All right. Now I'm gonna show you it guys. Kind of feels like Play-Doh. Yeah. It has a it really like a, so weird. It's, it's, it is like powdered. What you It has a really strange gummy <laughs> texture. It feels like it's made of something that we shouldn't be. Eating. Yeah, I know. Like a softer Play-Doh. Yeah. yeah something's like that's what I was talking about. The inside. Are you sure you didn't get this like from the Better Homes and Gardens section of the Japanese? All right, so we're going to, uh, let me see. I don't smell anything. This yeah. has absolutely no smell at all. Let me see. Yeah, nothing. Okay, I so it's. I got powder. I got powder on my nose. It's not me aligned to this mochi. All right, all so. right you ready? Yeah. Okay, so right. on the count of we're going to try these. Oh, God. And then we're going to go around one at a time and uh, tell you guys what we think. So on the count of three, guys. You guys ready? Yes. One, two, mochi me. Fuck mm. a marshmallow. Mm. 
Still looking for a degree D, damn it. Okay. I kind of smell something now. It smells like This is like, okay. It's like a softened gummy bear. She's right. The interior is like... The interior is like... Sugar cookie dough. Fresh dough that has not been baked. Or sweetened, really. And this is taro flavor. Or, was it taro? Taro. Taro. Yeah. So I, guess I heard that taro good. has, you have to have a certain taste bud for it. Not everybody likes taro. Now, as far as the outside, if this is made out of rice. You yeah. can't tell. <laughs> This is uh, amazing. It, it, it tastes like what every kid wishes Play-Doh tastes like. But I don't know. I can't. I don't know if I like it. <laughs> it's hard for you to say? Yeah. If you were starving on a desert island and someone said, I got some Japanese style taro mochi. I would eat it. <laughs> I would eat it. But it's like, I don't know if I would go. What about you, Brett? It's like a gummy flavor, but it's like, I would, if, if it was a ring, I would want to say I could define Because it's like, it's okay. It's like, I, I can't describe this. It's like a marshmallow. <laughs> so weird. What about you, Brandon? It's, you, you're not liking it, huh? And yeah. It's like, it's like this part right here. Outside it's like is a, sweet. It's like a mixture between a gummy bear and a marshmallow. The so inside. weird. And the inside is like, I, so weird. It's like, it's a, like a bean paste. Yes, yeah, yeah that. I'm actually, guys, I'm not, I actually okay. like it. It's okay. I would probably, uh... It's not disgusting. Yeah, it's not. Even though it feels disgusting. But it's not like anything here. Yeah, yeah. you never... At all. <laughs> never tasted anything <laughs> so much before. And mm -hmm. I'm, I'm very amazed that it's like a rice cake. Yeah. Or it's like a, a pressed rice cake or something. They, they like, smash it up. All right, so... I ate my whole mochi. We're going to go ahead. <laughs> Put this one away. You guys ready to try it around too? Sure. Green tea, I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, it's like, it's, like, it's like a gummy bear. Yeah. Like a melted, not sweetened gummy bear. Alright. Same wonderful packaging with cocaine sprinkled all over the top. Cocaine! So no cocaine, but what do we got here? Some green tea. Mochi. Oh, love yourself, my dear. You're the big uh, green tea fan. <sighs> give, give the sun on guns. Oh, wow. These are super gummy. This smells, it smells, it smells like, uh, oh, wow. It's green. Tell me what you think it smells like. Let me see if you are thinking the same thing as me. Colon cleanse? <laughs> he got it. It smells like colon cleanse. The herbs. Oh, well, I'm having some of this right now. Uh, I believe, you know, as a grown man, you got to keep your colon clean. There are health issues and concerns of men in their 30s. And if you haven't had your colon cleaned and checked, then you should. So we're going to go ahead with this green tea mochi. We're going to go around like we did last time and let everyone speak their minds. So on the count of three, one, two, three. Hmm? Nope. Even worse. <laughs> I don't know if I like this one more than the other one, but they're right, right on the same page. This tastes like a tea like, leaf. It is kind of good. The way my son described it was almost perfect. Marshmallow meets gummy bear. Gummy bear. It's uh, it has a kind of a marshmallow flavor as well. You can actually taste all that green tea in the in, in the center. Yeah, it's a very strong. 
like the actual tea leaf, not a sweetened green tea. Uh, have you guys ever had like uh, pitted dates, raw pitted dates? It tastes a little like a date. And dates are dried prunes. I'm not feeling this one at all. This green tea let me down. Every damn green tea is not going to be a Kit Kat, baby. No, other green tea is good too. All right, so regular green tea is good. We're going to go around the table one at a time, starting right here, the Patriarch. Mochi might not be my favorite dessert, but it ain't the worst. So I would actually give this a 4 out of 10. Uh, and the reason I give it a 4 is because, like I said, it's damn sure not the best, but it's definitely not the worst. I think that uh, if worst came to worst, I could find myself with an acquired taste enjoying these. So what do you think? Yeah, I was, I was going to give it a 5 just because it's something I can bear and if I had to eat it or if it was this or that I would I would choose the taro over the green tea because the green tea to me kind of tastes like your colon cleanse mixture and I'm not really into that so um but I do uh I'm a little mad because they made it look so delicious on the package <laughs> and they kind of got me with the taste so well, well that's one thing you should be used to in america if you go to like a mcdonald's and look at a big mac the picture looks great but you get some the actual the sandwich is disgusting all right so we're going to move to the, the mini me's one to ten you know you guys think about it and give me your thoughts on why what and why you give it the score you give it five because it's not it's not bad, but it's not great. It's in the middle, so mm. it's okay. <clears throat> Just like your brother's grades in school. Okay, so what do you, what do you think, son? I agree with him because I mean, like you seem like you don't like it at all, though. I, I like this one way better, but um, I agree with him because I mean, like it's not good, it's not bad, and I can bear this. Thing. I, I hate that. I can see this being um, a really popular dessert in Japan. Um, and I got, yeah, I got powdered sugar all over. Mochi dust. Well, thank you guys for watching. This has been episode three of What's That Taste Like? And I uh, brought the kids along. You guys, be sure to comment. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel. Beastly gamer, miss everything random. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching once again. I'm the Beastly gamer, and I miss everything random. We'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.